Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve lead code 20, which is valid parentheses. It is a very, very common interview question and it is going to use a stack. So we're given a string S and it has only the characters of round brackets, curly braces, or square brackets. So it's just a bracket string and we want to determine if that input string is valid. An input string is valid if it satisfies all three of these criteria. So number one is open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets. So if you open with round, you have to close with round. If you open with curly, you have to close with curly. You can't open with one type and then close with another type. Number two, open brackets must be closed in the correct order. We'll show that one shortly. And three, every closed bracket has a corresponding open bracket of the same type. So let's look at some examples. We have just round brackets. That's perfectly fine and what you'd expect. So that's true. Here, this one is also true because we have an open round, but we close that correctly. These are all closed. So now we can open with whatever. We close with square. Same thing, we open and close with curly. So we return true. So this is an example of a false one. And the problem with this is this one, open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets. Here we open with round. We should be closing with round here, except we closed with square. So we would return false. So here's our three rules we'd have to satisfy. If any of them breaks, then you'd automatically have to return false. And we're gonna give an example for each of these situations. So starting with the first rule, here's a situation that would break that. Open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets. So here, you could have simply like we saw, here we opened with circle, we actually need to close with circle as well. So what we would have expected is this, but we actually saw this. And so this breaks rule number one, so we'd return false. Now for rule number two here, open brackets must be closed in the correct order. Now this is technically closing everything and it's all matching. We still have an open square and then we close with a square and we have an open round and a close with a round, except what we mean by correct order is right here, is we start off with a square and then we open with a round. Now if we're going to close right here, okay, this is a closing bracket, we need this to close with a round, except we actually closed with a square. And so that is wrong, so we'd return false. Now let's show how we can ruin number three. So every close bracket has a corresponding open bracket of the same type. So here we could ruin that if we had a round bracket and then say we close that off, this is perfectly fine. But then if we closed again, so say we're just closing for no reason, this isn't really closing anything. Every close bracket does not have a corresponding open bracket. There is no corresponding open bracket to this close. Therefore, this would return false as well. And very similarly, another way to ruin number one is that if you had an open left over, here we have a stray open. And so again, we have open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets. This wasn't closed at all. And therefore this would also return false. For this question, we will definitely be using a stack. It is pretty much the most fundamental stack-based question, and our stack is going to have open brackets on it. So we're going to iterate through the string, and when we see an open bracket, like we do right here, we are going to just put that on the stack. And by the way, when I draw this stack, I mean that it's going to build from left to right. The top of the stack is going to be at the far right. So here that's fine, we put that round bracket on the stack, we see another open bracket, and so we are going to put that on as well. Now when we get over here, this is a closing bracket, and we're not going to put closing brackets on the stack, we are going to pop things off the stack when we see a closing bracket. So firstly, we need to make sure that we actually have a bracket available to pop off the stack. If we didn't have anything on the stack, well that would mean we're trying to close too much. It means we're closing when there's no open brackets available, and so that would also be a scenario where we'd return false. Now our stack is not empty, so we can pop something off. So we'll pop this thing off here, and we need to make sure that this is the bracket that matches with this one right here. This square bracket, it expects you to close with this one. And so it is the correct match, and so we move on. If that wasn't the right match, so let's pretend that this was actually a curly bracket, we need a match for this closing bracket, we pop off and we see this, and we see, oh, that doesn't match. And so that would ruin scenario number one, open bracket is not closed closed by the same type of brackets because it's closed by the wrong type of bracket. But they did match, so we're going to move on. Here we see the round closing bracket, so we're going to pop stuff off the stack. Firstly, we check to see if our stack is empty. Luckily, our stack does have something. If it was empty, we'd return false, but it's not, so we pop it off. We were looking for a match with this one. This is the correct matching bracket, and so this is totally fine. Now here we get to the end of the string, and we are done. We just need one final check. We need to make sure that our stack is empty. We need to make sure the stack is 
empty because if there was something left over, say a round bracket here, well, that would be this situation where we have an extra round bracket. We had no issues with the closing. It's just that we have some stray opening. And so because of that, if we had that opening in the stack still, that would ruin rule number one. Open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets. We're not closing it at all. Okay, so let's write the code. Now, the first thing is we would want a hash map. This is not necessary. This is not an efficiency type of thing. It's just very useful to have this where we have a dictionary that maps each closing bracket to its corresponding open bracket. And we'll say why we want that shortly. And I'm just going to copy this in here. We have closing round maps to open round, closing brace maps to open brace, and closing square maps to open square. By the way, we actually have in the constraints that the string only consists of these types of characters. So one of these things is the only thing we're ever going to run into. Now in Python, the easiest way to build up a stack is just to use an empty list. And that's why I wrote it from left to right there. We append when we want to put stuff on the top of the stack and we want to pop, which is gonna take it off the right side. So we're always appending to the right and popping from the right. That gives it that last in first out or LIFO quality where the last thing that goes in is the first thing that gets popped off. Now we want to go for each character C in the string. We will see if C is not in the hash map. Now what that means is it is an open bracket because we have closing brackets as our keys and open brackets as our values. So if C is not in the hash map, that means it is an open bracket. If it's an open bracket, our iteration is very simple. We simply stack.append the C. If it's an open bracket, we just want to put it on the stack and we don't even care what it is. Now, if that's not the case, so that means C was in our hash map, we are dealing with an open bracket. If we don't have a stack, so if our stack is empty, that's what this means means, well, we can immediately return false. Well, we're saying, hey, we want to pop an open bracket off the stack because we have a closing bracket, say this one, where we want to find its match. But if we don't have any open brackets available, well, that means we have too many closing brackets. So we've got to return false. Now, if we do have a stack, we just need to check if it's the right value and pop it off. So we'll say popped is equal to stack.pop. That is going to take off the most recent open bracket on the stack. And we need to make sure that it is the correct one. By correct one, we mean if the popped, so this is the open bracket, is the matching one. And by matching, we mean if it's the hash map at C, because C is our closing bracket. For a closing bracket, we need to make sure what's on the stack is the the same as our hash map value. So if popped is equal to the hash map at C, that actually means we're good to go. So we're going to say if popped is not equal to the hash map at C, that means it mismatched. We can again in this case return false. Now here we're pretty much done. We just need to make sure again that we don't have a stack. We need to make sure that our stack is empty because if it's not empty, that means we had some opening brackets left over and we need to make sure we removed all of those or that we popped all of them off. We will run this and give it a check. And as you can see, this works. Now the runtime of this algorithm, this is going to run in big O of N, where N is the length of the string we were given. All the stuff that we do in here, this is all constant work. The hash map only has three values. It's extremely constant. We pop and we append, and that is on average, that's amortized constant time as well. And so all of that stuff is constant in here. So overall, it's just O of N. And the space complexity of this, well, we do actually use potentially an extra O of N because we're putting all those open brackets on the stack. I hope this was helpful. Drop a like if it was, guys, and I'll see you later.